Hi there, welcome back to the channel. It's Mike from Greenway. Well, I wanted to do a, another test on my Tesla Model S. That's a 2014 uh, 85 kilowatt hour battery. And in the last video, I'll link below, I left it outside for eight days in the freezing cold Canadian weather. And uh, I wanted to see what was gonna happen with it after that. And I left it unplugged. And you'll see in that video what happened there. But what happened was um, the temperature went down to minus 33 and it was quite chilly. Uh, but what happened is uh, there was several cold days, but then it got a fair bit warmer throughout the week. So by the time I uh, came around to day eight, it was already only a minus four or about 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit approximately. So I had warmed up a fair bit and uh, I wanted to just do another test here. So what I'm going to do is put the car outside again, leave it out for a couple nights. And I'm, I got the weather forecast here. So it's be pretty cold the next couple of days and we'll see what happens with it and I'll leave it unplugged again and then try and start it like try and get it to go after those couple of days so here I'll show you the current stats and what's going on right now at the start of the test okay uh, let's uh, get some stats here at the beginning of the test so the battery is currently only at 38 percent maybe I should have charged it a bit more but that's probably fine still uh, the car indicates minus 14 degrees Celsius and it's 5.49 p.m. And you can see that there's a yellow dash lines on the instrument cluster there. One at the top to indicate um, how much power it is limiting us. And then also another one uh, on the other side, um, <coughs> which is telling us how much regen it has available. So, uh, so it says minus 14 on the car. Although uh, if I take a look here, um, the current conditions are showing minus 19, so the car's uh, just a little bit out of whack there. But in any case, cold warning, and here's uh, what's supposed to be like the next couple of days. So it's supposed to go down to minus 28 Celsius tonight. That's around minus 20 Fahrenheit. And then tomorrow, I'll leave it outside all day tomorrow, minus 21 is a high. So that's somewhere around minus six or seven Fahrenheit. And then, uh, let's see, overnight yeah you can see here low of minus 34 overnight uh so that's somewhere around minus 30 fahrenheit and then the next day is supposed to go a high of minus 22 low of minus 26 in any case um you know it's going to be pretty cold the next couple of days so let's see what happens with the car when it is left outside unplugged for a couple of nights and let's see if it will allow us to hop in and start driving uh, in a couple days after that minus 34 night. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, we're back. And we're sneaking up on the Tesla. It doesn't know we're here. I have not pre-warmed it. Uh, I'm just in a leaf right now here. And the temperature is minus 30 according to this car. Minus 30 Celsius, minus 22 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to just take a quick little walk over here and see how it fares, if it'll uh, do anything, if it's dead or alive. Um, I put it out in the evening, 36 hours ago. So it went through a full uh, evening and then a full day and now a full night and it's uh, morning again. It's uh, yeah, 8.04 a.m. So this is the coldest part of the day. So it's just come out of the deep freeze overnight and uh, it's starting to warm up, if you can call minus 30 warm. So let's take a walk over there and see if it is still alive and see what the battery's at. By the way, we've got the uh, leaf here as well from the other video. Let's see, yeah, okay. Yeah. See, it's running its uh, battery heater right now because it is pretty cold as well. I have a whole, whole video about this car as well, so you can check that out on the channel. All right, but today's subject is the Tesla, so let's see if it will allow me to open this. Oh, oh. okay. Pretty frosty. Huh. It's just been sitting out there overnight. That's open. Okay, it's going in. Let's have a seat. Okay, it's waking up. All 
right. So it says minus 31 Celsius. And has a little snowflake beside the battery over here. And just indicating the battery is cold. And it's down to 29%. I think when we left it, it was at 38%. So, okay, there we go. Look at our power limit. It is below 20 kilowatts. Wow, <laughs> that's really low. So it got really cold. Okay, let's see if it'll let us put it into drive. Yep, yep, there we go. And let's see if we can go forward a bit here. Yep. It's moving. Yeah. Okay. And reverse. <laughs> Dirty or backup camera. Yeah. It's allowing us to drive. So, can a car, can a 2014 Tesla Model S survive minus 31 overnight and uh, deep freeze? Yes, it can. Um, you can see the, uh, the battery. I know the battery is going to be already warming itself up. So that little dotted line there is gonna increase as time goes on. So, but uh, I've never seen it that low before. I've, I don't know if I've left it outside overnight in minus 31 temperatures before. But you can see already the battery is warming up. It's already uh, coming up. But let's just take a little quick drive around the parking lot here. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna go too far because I haven't scraped the windows off. But uh, let's see what this car will allow me to do here. Ooh, steering is stiff. Uh, everything is everything is stiff <laughs> it's not very happy I, I mean any car at this temperature is not very happy you know, honestly uh, gas cars uh, the steering gets stiff the brakes get stiff nothing else is working properly so yeah it takes a bit of effort to turn the wheel and just doing it kind of gently and slowly so the fluids uh, can uh, yeah, adjust properly is there fluid in the power steering of this car I don't know <laughs> I don't even know I think so it feels like it yeah so it is driving it is moving long as to go and yeah the battery's warming up quite a bit already so yeah <laughs> it passes the test but uh, like any car at minus 31 it's cold when you get into it it's gonna take a bit of time for it to warm up but that's not too surprising. So. Just backing it up here. Okay. And stop, okay. So. So in the minute or two we've been in here, it's already uh, warmed up quite a bit. You can see the, the um, regen has increased, sorry, not regen, the uh, power limit has increased a, a fair bit. So there we go. Okay, so the question is, can you leave a Tesla out overnight in minus uh, 31, actually overnight two nights? So it is definitely fully cold. Oh, and I can even hear the heater now is starting to really kick in it probably took a minute for that to warm up uh yeah the answer is yes yeah, it'll start it'll go it'll uh and i know the evs don't start but uh <laughs> it will activate and um allow us to move about our day i can feel the heat coming now heated seat is kicking in so if anyone says that evs don't work in the cold well this is you know about as cold as it gets in most parts of the world i know there's a place called Yakutsk in Russia that gets colder, but uh, for everyone outside of that city, uh, I think the uh, EVs will work even in the cold. And uh, yeah, it's an interesting little experiment here, but uh, hopefully you found this video interesting or informative. Uh, 
uh, if you did, please uh, drop me, uh, give me a thumbs up if uh, you could. And also on the channel, I've got quite a few other different videos where I'm putting some EVs through different cold weather torture tests and range tests and whatnot. So please feel free to check those out. Uh, if you want to see more of this uh, kind of uh, fun times, uh, please do subscribe as well. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.